NFT gas fees and OpenSea explained for beginners. Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to be sharing to you what NFT gas fees are and how you can work around with NFT gas fees on OpenSea. So if you want to learn more, then just keep on watching. So let's first understand what is NFT gas. So basically, gas fees are payments that users have to make in order to compensate for the computation energy that is required in order to process transactions that are happening on the Ethereum blockchain. So it's just like um, the processing fees that you have to pay whenever you use your credit card to pay your bills or something like that. Next is GUI. So GUI is the term that is given for a unit of gas that is used in the Ethereum blockchain. So Ethereum implements something that is called the proof of work algorithm. So in this Ethereum blockchain, validators who use special algorithms who are called miners solve cryptographic problems. So finding a successful solution to that problem enables sets of transactions to be processed and added to the blockchain. So those successful miners who are able to solve those puzzles, they get compensated for their effort as a lot of computation power is needed in order to solve those complex puzzles. So this incentive makes them provide continued support to transactions. So the total transaction fee will be equal to the gas limit times the gas price at that moment. So everything on the Ethereum network costs some gas. So gas on the Ethereum network has been assigned a market price based upon the demand for resources in that network at a particular moment in time. So this is done in order to ensure that there is efficiency in the network and there is the best use of computational power. So the main criteria for gas expenses, it will depend upon the size of the contract that you are trying to execute as well as the speed at which you want that transaction to be completed. So, you know, if you want to reduce your gas prices, you can decide to wait longer and your cost will reduce as well. If the gas prices are too high, then it is always better to wait until the price go down. So you can check the price of the gas when you're creating a smart contract and then estimate the price. So why exactly does NFTs need gas? So gas ensures that the people who use the Ethereum blockchain cannot spam it. So it is an efficient way in order to maintain security. So gas fees enforces regulations so that individuals cannot use the computation power wantonly. So gas fees are paid out to the miners and this incentivizes miners and to include their transaction in the blockchain. So if there are no incentives or rewards for the miners, you cannot expect them to expand their computation power to run smart contract operations. So how are NFT gas prices set? So the pricing value of Ethereum gas, it depends upon the supply and demand in the network. So if there is a high demand for transactions, this requires more miners to complete complicated algorithms, creating more work and energy consumption, hence increasing the gas fees. So if the gas price does not meet the threshold power, it cannot process the transactions. So gas fees can be very expensive. So here are some tips on how you can avoid paying high gas fees. So you can transact either very early in the morning or late at night when there is less demand and lower gas fees. So you can also set a gas limit or the amount that you are willing to pay for. So this will lead to your transaction getting processed only when it is profitable for a miner to process it. So this can take a long time, but you know, you will only pay for a very low price for gas fee another thing that you can do is you can keep track of the gas prices to have an estimate of the price for time that you want to run your transaction so some websites that can help you track ethereum gas fees is first this one ethereum gas station dot info so you can see the gas fees right here so the priority fee in GUI, the leaderboard right there, as well as some statistics on the current gas fees. Another website is called etherscan.io. So this is an Ethereum gas tracker. So just similar to the first website, so you can see the um, estimate 
of the way that you're gonna have to spend as well as the estimated cost of transfers and interactions right here so from low average to high the way that you're gonna have to spend per priority and there you go it already changed from a while ago so as you can see nft gas fees are fluctuating always and frequently so you're gonna have to look at the uniswap swap in order to get a true estimate of the dollars that you're gonna have to spend per gas fee right there so now let's look at gas fees, particularly in OpenSea. So here it says, what are gas fees on OpenSea? So again, transaction fees on the Ethereum blockchain. So transferring crypto to another wallet or purchasing an NFT on OpenSea. You need enough ETH on your wallet for the initial transaction and the associated gas fees. So first, let us talk about one-time fees on OpenSea. So we have the account registration fees that that you have to pay for before you can list on ethereum so next is the token or contract approval fees we also have the recurring fees right here so you can read up on this as well as some gas free actions such as the lazy minting feature of OpenSea. so there we go you can read up on this article it is available on the help center or support of OpenSea.io. Next up, we have here who pays for the gas fees here on OpenSea. So for first-time sellers, you have to pay for two transaction gas fees to set up your account. So again, you have a one-time fee that you will not be paying moving forward. So for returning sellers, you do not have to pay for gas fees to mint in each individual item. And here for sellers and buyers, there are also different conditions whether you are a seller or a buyer. So now let's go ahead and try to mint our NFT and see what are the gas fees. So for this one, I actually have this listed on the Polygon blockchain. So for Polygon, there are no gas fees at all. So let's try selling it. So I've already listed it right here. So I'm just going to sell that. I'm going to, you know, connect this to my wallet and click on the sell button right there so i can list this item up for sale so i'm just gonna set the price so i'm gonna set it at 0 0.01 or approximately 37 dollars so you can select the duration as well and we have a service fee of 2.5 percent so i'm just gonna complete my listing and sign my message and there you go my nft is already listed again it's because it is listed on the polygon blockchain which does not require any gas fees at all so now let's move on to my next nft item so right here called crypto cray so i just created this and i have listed this on the ethereum blockchain so let's see if the procedure is different this time so i'm just going to go ahead and click on sell so right there list the item for sale so fixed price or timed auction so i just listed this for a fixed price of 0 0.018 ETH again so i'm just going to click on complete listing and as you can see this is going to redirect us to another window that contains these details right here that says about the gas fees that you have to spend in order to complete the transaction so as you can see there is a maximum transaction fee right here so 130 us dollars for 0.03 eth right there so you can actually edit this transaction fee so just click on the edit button and you can see here that we have the high medium to low transaction fees so again if you click on high it is more costly but it is going to you know process your transaction faster for a very high price so it's not much of a difference actually it's just one us dollars but then again you can click on the high or low whatever you want to spend we also have some advanced options like here like the gas limit the nonce the maximum priority fee and the maximum transaction fee in GUI. so you can you know edit this according to your liking whatever you want to spend for the transaction fee so i'm just going to click on high right here and click on save so as you can see it has up to 119 us dollars so in less than 15 seconds it's going to process my nft so that concludes our video for today. I hope that you guys have learned something about NFT gas fees and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.